Hello, hello everybody. I hope you are all doing well and that you have had a lovely week and are getting ready to get started on a new week. Today's video is rather interesting to me anyway because it was not what I planned at all, but here we are and this is how it's gonna go. So I put a poll up and I asked everybody how they would like me to do the hauls for the Coffee Monster Co. birthday sale. And it was split 50-50 and then I got to be the deciding vote. And for my personal sanity and not having to keep the videos and everything on my phone and keep up with everything and patch together perfectly and try to remember what I said and what I didn't say and all that good stuff, I decided each package was gonna get its own video. Well, in the midst of that, I also, while I was waiting for birthday sale stuff to get here, I also placed an order for some washi um, that was themed for the um, upcoming Orlando trip because I am a nutcase and I love, Taylor and I put together like little goodie bags for each other. We, you know, it's, that's just how we are. And it's honestly like the, we only see each other at that point. And we do send happy mail throughout the year sometimes, but more or less, that's kind of like birthday, Christmas. We're super excited to see each other. All that good jazz. So I am going to be showing you what I got from no white space stickers. Um, I ordered washi from there and I'm going to swatch it in my Hobo Nichi five year. I've got a notebook or a little, um, I love, I want to be Barbie. That bitch has everything. Um, because I feel like everybody's in their Barbie era right now. I have not seen the movie as of yet. Um, I think it's hitting HBO max over the Labor Day weekend. So I'm probably going to watch it then when it's free. I'm going to move this off to the side because like I said, this was based off the fact that I wanted to show my first Coffee Monster Co. order. I was in the first 800, and that's not exactly like something I want you to clap for me about or anything like that. That was definitely not my intention or my plan. It just kind of happened. Um, however, if you've been watching any of the videos recently, you'll know that it was supposed to show up, and it didn't. And then I reached out to Coffee Monster Co. after calling my USPS office twice because it wasn't updating. And they told me, hey, it's probably because your barcode's damaged and they're not typing it in. So when we get it, we'll type it in and then we'll get it to you. But there's like, we have no idea when that's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, that's our best guess. So I went ahead and reached out to Helen to see what she wanted to do about it. Meantime, I get an alert while I'm at the office yesterday that it's out for delivery. Cool. My USPS office is freaking awesome. However, this is what I came home to. Oh, like why is this? What? Y'all, okay, let me be clear. Every Coffee Monster Co. order I've ever had has never sustained this much damage. This is 100% not on them. I don't know what kind of ravenous bear obtained this, but when it ripped, it also like, there's always, the way that she packages her orders is intelligent as all get out because they basically put everything in a clear pouch and they seal that with like a sticker of who packaged your order and everything's in that pouch and then it goes into the big one. So it basically like hyper protects it in case something like this happens. Y'all, that wasn't even in here. It was ravaged. So to make matters even crazier, look at this. Just, this is a mess. This is a whole lot of a mess. So, um, <laughs> Everything was dirty to some extent, but some things were very salvageable. Um, and I didn't want, my goal was not to have like necessarily the entire order replaced, just damaged or missing product, obviously. So like, for example, y'all, what is this? So I ordered the 2021 freebie packet. This was literally all that was left of that. I don't even know. 
don't even know. I was missing vinyls. I was missing uh, the, not that this is like a make or break, but like the, I was missing a ton of stuff. I went ahead and just to clarify, and probably by the time this video posts, we will be definitely on an attack strategy, not attack strategy, but um, we'll definitely be on a path to getting it fixed. I've already emailed her with a de detailed list of what was damaged, what was missing both free and paid for product. So I'm already on it with lots of pictures and all of that. But what I am gonna go through is what was, what is fine, what is fine, what was salvageable, um, all that good stuff. Sorry, I'm like playing with the washi up to the, up at the top. But yeah, I'm basically gonna show you what, um, what's still okay, what's fine. Um, so we're gonna start with that and we will then go into the uh, no white space. So as far as product that is not obliterated, um, I have the Master Artist Sticky Notes. These had to have been like in the center of the, I don't know. And it's so hard to tell like how it was even packaged or anything because it, it was just a mess. Um, the Get Your Ducks in a Row, which I love. Um, Sunday Scaries. See how like pristine these are? These are like, these are fine. Okay, so I have the couple dinner date, which I think is super cute. And I love the little like coffee one too, because Jeff and I drink coffee on the porch quite frequently. So I think those are going to be really cute. Um, I got the dinner date emojis, um that are the lesbian edition because um, it's for uh, Taylor and I for while we're in Orlando, like we'll be having like lunches and fancy dinners and definitely coffee. I just thought that was really cute. And um, I'll probably, cause we're there like mm, first, second, third, fourth. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be fine. I won't use like one every day or anything, but I'll definitely like make sure to keep these on hand anytime we're like going into a trip together. Um, I got the seasonal emoji or the seasonal Hobonichi cousin headers. I really like these. I think they're super cute, especially like these for the mountains and these for fall. I'm definitely going to have to do like a restock for those. I did go ahead and get the superhero emoji sampler because I have the old version and I didn't realize that I didn't order the new one somehow, some way. Um, so I was a little disappointed about that last year and it just took me this long to get around to it, especially because we watched Guardians of the Galaxy recently. I love Gamora. Um, I also really wanted to have um, kind of like that Black Panther style because I I really want to go on a Marvel binge after I finish my Star Wars one so I really wanted to make sure I had a sheet of these already on hand. I felt like this was very appropriate yesterday. Uh, the swearing emojis, the social anxiety, and if you look really close like you can see I don't know how well or not well it's going to show up on camera but there's like some smudges and dirt and like crinkling but it's totally fine like I'm not gonna ask her to replace something like that as long as it's not like affecting the product like this little crinkle right here it's fine it's not in that little smudging I'm fine like I can I can handle that that's that's not too bad but when something is like okay, here I need a solid like what am what and it's like no, that's not coming off. Like it literally is like ground into the dirt. Um, not that I'm trying to like justify myself. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, close the rings. I got the color it in version. I thought these would be really helpful for like days where I don't close the ring out. And I did order the other version where it's not all the way full either. So I'll have both at my disposal and we'll see how that goes. Again, like you can tell, like some of these are still crinkled. And again, the product whilst crinkled is no more or less than I could deal with. Like this is totally fine. The product itself, like what I'm trying to use is fine. Um, and then I went ahead and got the stationary bike emojis because my knees have, not my knees necessarily, but like my knees and my legs can't always take the impact that is running um 
So I'm hoping to do some stationary bike workouts. If anybody does stationary bikes, let me know where you pull your workouts from. And if you have any advice, because I don't even really know where to start. So I feel like those stationary bike stickers are going to last me a while. So now let's talk washi. So you could order two rolls of each washi per customer before they sold out and then the pre-order started. Once the pre-order starts, you can order as much as you want. So that being said, I ordered two of each roll. As you can see, this is not two of each roll. <laughs> so my Monet's are fine. My Da Vinci's, or no, these are Van Gogh's. My Van Gogh's are fine. I have one hoax eye that's fine, one that was damaged, and the Da Vinci rolls were not even in the thing. It, y'all, it was, this has been a mess. And I can, I am going to say this until I am blue in the face, but for real, it broke my heart to have to email her. I know from running like an Etsy too, like I got so nervous when I would ship stuff. Um, and ironically, the first, one of the first purchases I ever had that wasn't a friend, the first purchase that wasn't a friend, um, legitimately was in Australia. And it was right when the pandemic kicked off. So it had to go by boat. It couldn't go by plane. It took it forever to get there. And I had so much anxiety because it was the first thing I had made. I had handmade this thing. This wasn't like a manufactured product or a, something I could reprint. Like this was legitimately. And I think that was also the moment where I was like, I, and I honestly think sometimes like when I want to reopen a shop and do stuff like that, I really have to trust the person as well that they have like the, you know, like good intentions because I feel like that's not always the case anymore, but more or less, it is very nerve wracking. I was heartbroken to have to reach out to her and tell her like, Hey, good news and bad news. Um, I don't like, it's not that I necessarily blame any one person. I don't know. It was just hard because I was sad that I obviously didn't have my product but I was fine with that. I was more upset with like having to like reach out to her and cause her stress. And I get it. It's her shop. It's part and parcel of being an owner, but still like you don't want to cause anybody like distress. And then they're worried that you're upset. And it just, it's like this cycle of crazy, but, um, I am going to start at the top. I think, I think that's a good place to start. Um, and hopefully I'm doing this right. This is, okay, now I'm, good Lord in heaven. <gasps> this one's ultra sticky. Okay, that's just going to be the way it's going to be, y'all. Okay, it's not going to be that far off. Okay, so. Oh, boy. But, yeah, let me know if anything like that's ever happened to you. I can honestly... Say that's the first time so that sorry I'm talking in circles this is how long the design is for the hokusai and then hokusai and then it repeats it's got this absolutely gorgeous blue foil oh my god that's so pretty I can honestly say out of all of the um I think each one is beautiful I'm not gonna negate or like really like pick oh I am gonna pick favorites and I'll explain why I love the hokusai Hokusai style and I'll go ahead and show when I did it back in I think it was April I think I did a whole yeah I did the whole artist series so I'll show you like in comparison so I used this washi and I totally layer these on top of each other I think that they would be beautiful um I love the softness and like the intenseness of the blues, but I love that I popped like red in here in a couple places. It just like felt natural to pop it in there. Um, I really enjoy doing kind of like that artist study. 
and just diving into it. I would really like to do an artist series. Obviously, I'm going to do an artist series again, but I would really like to focus maybe on some books. And I think that could be really nice, a, a nice change of pace um, for sure. So I will be kind of planning that at some point, but I... I really loved the Van Gogh as well because of all the like sunflowers and there's so much yellow in the little freebie kits and I thought that that was so great and I just feel like it's so all of them do tend to lean very nature heavy and very um like I think about Da Vinci and like he wasn't just a man of art he was a man of science and I think that there's a hundred percent something to that and I truly love I'm gonna do a cleaner line instead of like depending on a good split I'm really not in the mood for any more airs today um and look me I'm trying to avoid errors me creates an automatic error Lord Jesus um, and so we've got the great wave is the inspiration for Hokusai. And then the um, Starry Night painting is obviously the um, inspiration for Van Gogh. And I think it's lovely. Um, a huge thing that I told her in the, when she released like the artist series itself. First of all, this is the most gorgeous, overly detailed washi I've ever seen her do. And I am here for it 100%. I hope she does other artists in the future. Um, I don't, like, I could totally see, like, a really cute um, Frida Kahlo version. I think that would be so fun. Uh, because she's done emojis for that already. But, like, a Frida the Kahlo would be so cute. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, other artists that I would admire or really enjoy seeing. And my brain just, like loaded off into a different direction. Um, but it's also worth noting how inspired other artists were. Like if memory sir, like all of these artists were inspired by each other at some point, which I also think is interesting. And I learned that through the first, in April when I was doing the whole artist series. Um, this, I'm sorry if I just knocked the camera with my head, by the way. I really, I think the saddest thing about all the mess up, other than like obviously having to alert Helen to the tragedy and like now we've got to fix it. I honestly, I think it's going to be a really easy fix. I truly, truly do. Like her customer service team and her customer service in general are like complete top notch. So I'm not even going to like have an aneurysm about it. I, again, I'm just sad because I'm allowed to be sad. Um, but I, the other thing was that the artist stickers were such a mess that I couldn't use any of them. They were all damaged so bad. And it was more because they seemed to hit the whatever, like, wow, I'm sucking at this with a fucking knife. I like the best one was the one where I didn't use any tools at all. Go figure. Um, this is the Monet. And it is obviously inspired by the beautiful water lilies. Um, I always think of Titanic when I think of Monet. Let me know if you're the same. Um, and I am going to do some like journaling about all of this mess <laughs> for sure. Um, I do leave my other roles uh, intact. Um, and I will definitely, again, keeping with the the plan. Each package is going to get its own video. The only reason that I'm roping uh, the no, I keep forgetting who it is. The no white space stickers into this is because I'm like, okay, we need some type of like happy pick me up to this. Like, it sounds kind of depressing story um, of, or sadness, like, cause I'm not showing what I thought I was going to show, but I was super sad that be, that the sticker sheets were not salvageable because either they were so ripped up, there were stickers missing, but also that they were like so dirty that I couldn't, and I couldn't like dust it off like I tried. So the first thing I want to talk about with no white space stickers so we can get into like some happy things is this gorgeous freaking packaging. I am a sucker for packaging and I love iridescent. I'm here for it. 
let's dive right in. So I am gonna have to text Taylor and tell her either A, don't watch this video, or B, watch it and be excited. So, cause as I said, some of it is, I, oh yay, I love when I get a Okay. And this is kind of what I'm talking about where usually your package is inside of a package because um, obviously shop owners are not stupid and they have figured out like you need to package accordingly. Wow, that's like a sturdy, sturdy, sturdy sticker. And I don't want to rip the sticker. I want to put it in here. And clearly I'm also going to chip my nail in the process doing it, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to very carefully rip this off so I can throw some tape on the back of it and pop it in here. Um, pause for, it's okay if I rip the bag a little bit. I'm not that precious about the bag. The bag's not going anywhere that I'm aware of. And, fun fact, I can always flip the bag over this and like trim the top off a little bit if I wanted to like use it as a pouch somewhere or yeah I'm not trying to cover that oh each one's got one on it okay cool um I'm gonna put this off to the side because I'm gonna put this like right about here I think um and again it's just the reason I have like the sticky note down there is um actually I don't think I finished that statement earlier in the video but that I uh it's just some private journaling from like some crap I was going through last year that I don't necessarily want to share with the whole wide world. Um, this is just kind of like a little card to keep these in here. So these are, these are super cute and they were on flash sale. You can wrap washi around them, but they're like hard PVC cards and I love them. Um, Monster and Training Scare Floor B. We scare because we care. I love that, love that. Um, one of my favorite Disney bounds that I've ever done, not at Disney, was Randall, hands down. And then, yay! <laughs> so much washi, so much washi. Okay, so we're going to dive into swatching these, and then I have got to head out to work like a grown up. Okay, so... Most, if not all, I think all of these, I'm definitely, yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Um, I will be giving her a sample of each washi. If I can get them open, that would be swell, but I'm trying to, wow, this is sturdy. Um, so yeah, I'll have to say, hey, do you want to see these? Um, and I don't need to like save every sticker. Like that's a little bit excessive. I need to be more, um, uh, consciously aware of the time. Oh God, I'm already ripping shit. Good Lord, help me. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So it'll repeat to the orange. Do I really need to like showcase all the way down to that? And do I have enough room to do that? Probably not. Okay, so we're not gonna do the whole thing. Like I just wanna put like a little sample. And the reason for that is space, like purely space. Um, I'll go to Oh my gracious, what is happening? Over excitement, knocking my head on everything. Let's go back to a method that's actually, so just so that you can see all the way to here, and then it repeats. I really loved this because I feel like we got patches that were themed like this last year and it was super cute, so. Again, she's gonna get a sample of everything, like including the Coffee Monster Co. Washi. 
And I'm gonna try to do these in like some kind of order. The next, and I don't have names for any of these. I will endeavor to put them in the description down below, but I feel like it's pretty apparent when you get on the site. If I'm being completely honest, like it's not like a mystery. Um, this is what I'm gonna do though for this because I hate when designs do that. I don't understand what the point of that is, but I can use that at the same time if it makes sense like I can use the one that says ever and day at the end of something and if I don't quit hitting my head on my camera stand I'm gonna get really aggravated um I'm gonna do a little bit longer of a swatch so that it makes a cohesive sentence ish phrase I love create happy. I can get with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep that off to the side. And I love this, it actually comes with different backgrounds. So you can do like a pink or a purple. I don't know what other, but I just wanted like rainbow. I like clean as often as I can get it because honestly, like, sorry. Um. I like clean as often as I can get it or like a white background if I can get that because I want it to be able to match as much as possible and I don't want like one color necessarily to get favored over another. So there's that. And again, I'm trying to be time efficient, not, I don't care if I kind of look like a raccoon diving into my washi right now because I care more about if I'm late for work, if I'm being transparent because the work pays for the washi peeps in full honesty I should have tried to do this last night I don't necessarily care well do I care um yeah I'll go ahead and like include it so this Can I not lay down the washing straight to save my life today? And I'm so sorry if my noggin keeps hitting the camera. Like, I am the worst today. And I'll go ahead and, like, take it all the way to here. I think, maybe. Should I? Do, do, do. I'll just take it there. That way I can like write around it. But this is for, mon this is obviously the monorail. So these are kind of like together in a group, like just very pastel and rainbow. And we're both huge rainbow people. Um, so there's that. But we are also planning to do a monorail crawl, which I'm very jazzed about. Um, the unfortunate part of the monorail crawl is that a lot of the lounges and bars don't open until later, which kind of sucks. Oh, that one kind of split really well, actually. So I can, I'm gonna salvage that for sure. I'm gonna keep a little stack going. Um, so a lot of the monorail stuff is not gonna be open the day of the crawl. So we're gonna do some of the stuff on our free day, which is, I believe the day before. This is the most, quote unquote, free time I've ever planned into a Disney Orlando trip. I say Disney and I say Orlando because I do a little bit from both. Like I don't try to do the whole thing. Uh, Taylor and I did do the whole thing two years ago because she had never been. So, and it was not just the whole thing. It was too much and it was, we almost died and whew, it was a lot. Um, I'm going to take this one all the way out because Jack's on it and I'm totally fine with taking it all the way out. 
it's Halloween. It's super cute. I don't care that I'm covering the whole page. I legit am here for the whole thing. Um, so this is inspired by the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay at Haunted Mansion. Um, they do not do this in Disney World. They only do it in Disneyland. And I think she'll really enjoy it because she's a huge Nightmare Before Christmas person. Um, I have said it before. I'll say it again. You can fight me in the comments. I am a Corpse Bride gal, not a Nightmare Before Christmas gal. That doesn't negate the fact that that is the cutest Oogie Boogie and the cutest little Jack I've ever seen in my life. And I wanted it and I got it. I felt very Ariana about it. I was fine. Um, so, uh, like I was saying, this is the most free time that I have booked into a trip specifically so that we could check out resorts. We could eat lots of snacks because that's what we like to do is eat and shop. And it's not even that we're shoppers. Like, we like to look around and see all the fun stuff. There's so much, like, you can just sit somewhere and be with a snack or a drink and be totally happy and immersed with what's going on in Disney. I swear you can. And not even Disney, but like Disney Springs or wherever. I'm, I've never been disappointed with just sitting and people watching. I've done it plenty of times and I am going to run out of space. Um, so the next washi is inspired by Boobash, which again happens I want all of them sorry I'm being very bougie now and wanting them all on the swatch um which boobash is at Disneyland not Disney World just to clarify and I'm fine with that totally fine with that I am toying with the idea since next year will be a decade of Halloween Horror Nights that I would go to both which means going to Orlando and to Hollywood um version so I wanted to go ahead and kind of get some stuff but I also don't I don't feel like I need to use them only when I go. Like I'm perfectly content to use this like a week of Christmas if I want to, or use this in some Halloween spreads, or I can use these in scrapbook layouts. And I can like, even though the characters aren't gonna be dressed like that because I, this year it's gonna be, um, cause Mickey's not so scary tends to be more centered around like Hocus Pocus lately. I'm actually, cause this design isn't really large. I'm going to pop it here. Y'all, I don't, okay, and this is strong ass washi because I cannot pull it up. Fun fact, this is not your weak washi. This is not for the weak. But this is a Haunted Mansion wallpaper vibe. So again, the design just is repeating. So I don't need to like use a whole bar. Got like a little Halloween stack going. I keep trying to break through this violently, which is not safe for either of us. Uh, <laughs> this is the, this is not so scary theme. This is inspired by the absolutely adorable cast member costumes that are for Mickey's Not So Scary, and I love them. And I couldn't imagine like not having this washi. I couldn't imagine it. Um, I do think I'm getting it in a sample size as well. Um, I'd have to double check my listing. Some of the some of the not so scary washi I couldn't find in her shop, but I found on Etsy. So I got it on Etsy. So I'll need to see like what's in that versus what I have. Cause I did go ahead and order. <sighs> Y'all. This is struggle bus kind of morning, huh? Um I'll have to see what made it to that washi sample swatch. Oh, that one came up easy. And I do love that. 
That's interesting. Hmm. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and watch the video. That one came off clean as day. And again, I won't need, to, I won't keep all of them at all because I don't need that many. Like I'll use this one and probably that super clean one. I don't think I'll use these because that's going to take some effort. This is the last Halloween one. And it is, if you look really close, all the little bats have Mickey ears. If honestly, there's, I am obsessed with witchy things, Halloween things, not mutually exclusive. Those are different. Um, and I am also completely obsessed with Disney things. So it's really no shock and surprise to me that I'm over the moon about all these and that they are themed as they are. I think this was like called like Jack Stripes and it's the only like skinny washi I got. And I think I'm going to use it for my monthly tracker page. Cause those like are really the bar where the month is written is super skinny. And I think that would be really cute, but I love the like holographic bats. And I love that again, it's simple. It's black and white. Um, so there's that. So these are all of the Halloween ones that I got. And then I got two Christmas themed ones. They had the cutest Christmas stuff. So I also love Christmas things. I have a problem. I think I've said this in scrapbooking videos before, but I don't know that I've ever said it like in a Hobonichi or like planning video. I have a serious problem when it comes down to Disney stuff, Halloween stuff, witchy stuff, Valentine stuff. Did I say Christmas? Christmas holiday. And when I say Christmas, I don't mean like Christmas, Christmas necessarily, like holiday. Like, oh, that was aggressive. Holiday. Um, but like everything, like snow and flannel and like hot choke hot chocolate, hot chocolate, all of that. Um, but there were several different like gingerbread themed ones to pick from. I opted to go for this one because I really liked the blue. I think the other one had like a pink background and I didn't, I wanted to make sure that the red bow showed up and Taylor and I both really love like a good classic, like red bow. So that was, definitely important to me to have um, I'm just gonna do like a little swatch because we're starting to run out of room okay and then we've got this this is very similar to like kind of the what's it called um I have a set of overalls from them. I feel like it starts with an S. Now I have to go look in the closet. remember it's stony clover it that's what it reminds me of is like the lettering that they do the stony clover lettering that's super freaking expensive why why are we cut whatever um i'm gonna do this is like my probably one of my favorite color palettes um, of the holiday season, I am a huge, like, and it, this definitely reminds me of, um, some crepe paper collections that I have, and I feel like it would fit in really nicely with that, even though the lettering is different, like, color-wise, it would fit really, really well. Um, 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that if I'm being completely transparent. Um, and it says deck the halls, jolly. So those are my two Christmas. I try to get like a good assortment. <laughs> and just to be clear, like she does have other stuff. So I did get this like really cute composition book washi. I Taylor is a composition book whore, um, but she also, she does all of her smash booking, which is funny to me that she's kind of come full circle with that because that's how we got to know each other, which is crazy. So we met online probably in 2013, 13, I think. Oh, really? I need to go look at that because that'll mean that we've been like we've known each other for a decade. Now I need to look at that. It's either 2013 or 14. I'm leaning towards it being 13 because I was still living at home with my grandparents at the time and we were friends and I was starting my YouTube and she already had a YouTube and I was following her on YouTube, not in a weird way, but like was following her and we just it was like back in the day where you did actually chat with those people almost like an online forum and it wasn't just like non-stop streaming content situation. It was totally different back then, but um, I was working a lot and so I couldn't do a lot with the channel at the time. Um, I love this comp book, but I know she has composition book washi, so I don't necessarily know that she'll want, need, or desire a sample of this. Um, there's like a rainbow version as well that I almost got, but I also know I can use a Tombow marker over top of this if I ever want to color it. And so I opted again, I'm a black and white kind of gal. If I, I could still go over top of this and put a background if I wanted. So these are all super fun. Oh my God. They're so great. I hope you can appreciate like all the foils. So like we've got a blue foil, a gold foil, silver, silver holographic situation. I always struggle with whether to call it silver or holographic. Um, holographic, holographic, no, no, no. Silver, holographic, holographic. If I can't see like that purple sheen to it, like that blue purple sheen, I usually will just call it silver. So like to me, that's silver. Um, but all of the uh, no white space stickers seem to be more holographically designed. Um, but yeah, so Taylor's going to get swatches of all of this except for the composition because again, she has composition already. And then I've also ordered some, um, swatches of Mickey's not so scary that I don't have, that I can't get, that no white speakers, speakers, that no white space ha does not have anymore. Um, and they're more themed towards the party itself so that we can document that the day of. Um, but I'm super happy with my order and my packaging. This was lovely. Um, I feel like <laughs> it counteracts like the hot mess that is what's going on with Coffee Monster Co. So I'm gonna look forward to doing like a little bit of journaling about this and maybe writing down like what each washi is or something like that. So um, that is one very fun thing about my Hobonichi five year that I enjoy a lot is when I'm flipping through it and I see big washi hauls, it completely brings me back to like the excitement of, you know, being kind of like kid on Christmas and opening new stationary supplies or opening um, all the new washi. And the fact that like, these are definitely some of my favorite things like in like combined and I can also use them like, for other times of the year or when I'm like planning, but definitely like I'm a purist in the fact that like, I love that this is the costume that they wear. So even if I didn't have another Mickey's not so scary, like I want to do a hand lettering like that really bad with like that design. Um, I love that one day I'm going to be able to go see this. And like, I love that these are just the characters dressed up. Like I don't care that it's necessarily related to boo bash. Um, Haunted Mansion, I'm obsessed with, and plus the movie just came out. So I just feel like there's uh, reasons to have all of these. And I know I probably sound like I'm justifying a purchase, and I kind of am, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know, this is fun. Let me know if you've had any crazy horror stories with packaging. And um, let me know if you've ever ordered from either of these companies before. Um, there's also going to be an affiliate link for Coffee Monster Co. down in the bio. If you use it, it gets you 10% off, but it also gives me potato points. So if you don't want to monetarily contribute through like Super Chat or Super Thanks, um, 
you can do that without doing anything extra at all. It just gives me some like extra points for kind of pushing people along that way. And it works for every single purchase. It's not just your first purchase. So um, if you feel like doing that, it's super helpful to me. If you don't, don't feel pressured to do D any of the above. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, part of my first order with the birthday sale and my cute um, first purchase with no white space stickers. Thanks so much and have a great day guys.